Hey, good morning. What's poppin'? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. I hope y'all having a great day. So far, my day's going pretty, pretty good. Um, so today, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, a subject I talked about the other day, which is comparing God, or the God of the Jehovah Witnesses, Jehovah, to an evil ex-boyfriend. And is it a fair comparison? <laughs> Oh, I think it is. And I think it needs to be looked into a little bit further. Now, the last time I talked about it, I, I basically pointed out the points that an evil ex-boyfriend, the stuff he do and say, right? You try to leave? You can't leave me. What do you mean? You're not strong. You're not smart. You're nothing without me. You can't survive in this world without me. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Now, personally, I've seen men like this. And these men are horrible, evil, sadistic, narcissistic men. They're the worst type of human being there is to be. But if you're an ex-Jehovah Witness, this sounds really, really familiar to you. And you want to know why that is? That's because that's what you're being told Jehovah's telling you. You can't leave this organization. You're nothing without this organization. You can't survive without this organization. You'll be destroyed. You're not strong, you're not smart, you can't do anything on your own. You go out there, you're gonna be destroyed. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that, that kind of makes sense. Like, that sounds exactly how an evil ex-boyfriend would sound. That sounds like a toxic relationship, the type of relationship nobody that loves you would tell you to be in. But let's look a little bit further into that. Because even though I see men treat women like that, you know what I see from the women? They make up excuses for him. Why don't he ever show you that he love you? Oh, he does show it. You just don't understand. You're not there. You don't see it. But he does. He shows me he loves me. Oh, okay. Why doesn't he ever, like, buy you anything or come around, like, when, you know, you got special occasions? Well, well, he doesn't do that because he's just so busy. He spends so much time and energy, you know, making sure that we're okay, you know, financially and stuff. Okay, well. Why, why don't he, you know, tell you that he loves you? And like, why does he not be there for you when you need him? Well, he is there for me. You just, you just don't see it. What happened to your eye? Oh, I fell down some stairs. Like, there's always an excuse made for the evil ex-boyfriend or the, the evil boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? If you're still in a relationship with him. The victim makes excuses for him all the time. Now, let's do a test. <laughs> An experiment, if you will. Of course, I'm driving my car, so I can't do the whole experiment because I'd crash and die. But we can do a little mental experiment. I invite you to join me on this mental experiment. Okay? You ready? Step one, I need you to do something that's going to make you uncomfortable. Okay? I need you to remember that this is just an experiment and I want you to completely do anything I ask you to do right now, okay? Okay, step one. I want you to get inside your mind and even just for the sake of this experiment, I want you to accept as a fact that God does not exist and he's not a real creature nor has he ever been a real creature. I want you to, for the sake of this experiment, accept that as a fact. Now, your first inkling for a lot of people that believe in God is to say, nope, not even gonna do that. I'm sorry, I would I would join your experiment, but no, God is not to be fooled with like that. I'm not even gonna play like that. Evil ex-boyfriend. <laughs> that shows you that even though I specifically told you this is just an experiment, it's not a real emotion or a real feeling, you mentally are so scared of the person who supposedly love you all to, to death will just love you to pieces and he's supposed to be so intelligent that he will probably understand this is just for the sake of the, an experiment you still can't do it you're still like no I would not accept that or even play like that <laughs> that shows you an evil boyfriend kind of relationship because if you're in a relationship where you can't even play with the person that supposedly loves you evil ex-boyfriend <laughs> but anyway okay let's move on to step two of this experiment all right 
I would like for you, when you get a free time, like because I'm driving now, I can't do this. I've done this before, by the way, but I want you to do this also. When you get home, right? I want you to go in the room, make sure the fan is not on, make sure there's no windows open, make sure the air is completely still. And I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to put it on either the floor or a desk or somewhere. Just put a piece of paper somewhere, right? And I want you to take your hands, put them together like this. And I want you to pray to God. I want you to give a real passionate and true prayer. And these are the things I want you to say. I want you to say, oh Lord, Jehovah, whoever you believe in, don't say it exactly the way I'm saying it, but you, you get it. I want you to take this time right now and prove yourself to me. I know you're almighty and you're all powerful and there's nothing outside of the scope of your ability. So I'm asking you to save my soul today and make me your strongest warrior today. I'm willing to give my time, energy, and effort, anything you would require of me from this day forward for the rest of my life. All I ask of you is to move this piece of paper within the next 15 seconds. That's all I ask of you. You will gain a warrior. You will save my soul. You will confirm your very existence and that's all I need. If you just but move this paper, even if it's just slightly, just let me see you move this paper. Amen. That's what I want you to say or something around there, okay? But make sure that you're saying it for real and it's true and you're not making this up. And then I want you to look, give them 15 seconds to see if that paper moves. Now, somebody who truly believes in God is gonna be like, yeah, okay, cool. Can't wait to see this. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? But somebody who's in a relationship that's bad is going to say, well, he's not going to do that. Who am I to ask him to do something for me? He already gave me all this proof of his existence. I don't need him to move this paper. I don't need nothing from him. I don't need him to prove anything. He's already proved it to me. He's already in my heart. It excuses. Excuses, excuses. Most people are already making those excuses up before they even do this experiment I'm telling you to do. Most people, if you had faith, real faith, You'd say, okay, cool, i do it. And watch this paper move. Watch it's gonna move. Watch I'm gonna see God move this paper. And if you can't record it, I would love for you to record it. If you could record that, you'd be changing the lives of a lot of people. For the, especially if the paper moves. <laughs> oh my God. You'd be changing life to everybody. And this is what people who honestly believe would do. If you honestly believe in God, if you honestly believe that he loves you and he'll do anything to save you and support you, 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 you're basically asking him to save you from a life of, of atheism. Show me you exist. That's all I need. Move the paper. <laughs> if you can do that, he saves you. But if he doesn't, either he don't want you to know or he doesn't care or he doesn't exist. All of those are viable options. But I'm willing to watch any video of you doing this and proving to me or yourself that God does or does not exist. I would love to see the results of this test, of this experiment. I'm pointing it out now because I know there are a ton of people that's watching this video and they're saying to themselves, no, nope, I'm not even going to do that experiment. Because why? Because I know he exists. I don't need no proof. I don't need him to move this paper. Excuses. The same excuses somebody in a bad relationship would give if their person, if the person that they're with was not treating them right. <laughs> You'd make up excuses and stuff. Like, if I wanted the police to show up in my house, right? If I if I place a phone call 911, I know the police are gonna show up to my house. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna not rocket science. 
But if you put that piece of paper on the ground on the desk and you ask God to move it, oh, it's not a sure thing. I would even further say, I can definitely guarantee you that as long as there's no wind in that room, it's going to be impossible for God to move that paper. And remember, this is the same guy who created mountains and elephants. If he could do the stuff that he did in the Bible, moving that piece of paper without any wind would be a breeze. But, you know, I'm sure, you, like I said, you probably made up some excuses as to why it's not going to happen right now. Evil ex-boyfriend. <laughs> but, okay, I could be wrong. Just if you can do it and you can video record it, I don't know how you could tag me to it or something like that, but I would love to see this experiment. I would love to see you do this experiment. And if it, if the paper moves, I would be blown away. I'd be completely blown away. But anyway, uh, it's your boy, Jaden Comedian. I hope y'all having a good day. And yeah, let me know how this experiment go. Holla, Jaguala. Deuces. <laughs>